Okay, so you want to use inclusive language in your writing, but you don't know where to begin. This video should help you get started. Firstly, what is inclusive language? Inclusive language is sensitive of marginalising already vulnerable groups of people. It avoids referencing a person's gender, sexuality, ethnicity, age, religion, or their mental or physical characteristics unless the context necessitates it. Inclusive language is careful with terminology, especially naming practices. It steers away from stereotypes and refrains from using us-them distinctions when addressing readers. That all sounds great in a general sense, but what about some specific uses? Gender. Don't use he, him and his pronouns when gender is undefined or ambiguous, or when referring to both males and females. Instead, use the gender-neutral plural forms, they, them, and their, or opt for the second-person gender-neutral you. Naming practices. Don't use blanket terms such as Africans and Asians that group different cultures and ethnicities under one umbrella. Do use terms that are preferred by the group of people in question. For example, when referring to Australia's Indigenous population, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander are the recommended nouns and adjectives used to describe individuals. For groups, use their specific names, such as Wurundjeri and Pintubi. When referring to the parts of a person's name, don't use first name or surname. These terms imply name order that is culture-bound. Instead, use given name and family name. These terms consider different cultures where a person's family name comes first. Appropriate language. Don't assume your readership has the same education or exposure to language as you. Do make your writing as accessible as possible. Try to employ plain English where appropriate. Some principles of plain English, as outlined in the Style Manual, are to use everyday words, avoiding cliches and slang, be concise, avoid double negatives, favour an active voice to a passive voice, and to keep sentences to an average of about 22 words. The examples seen in this video barely touch upon all that inclusive language encompasses, but I hope that it has been helpful in getting you started. For more information on inclusive language, see the links in the blog post below this video or conduct your own search. Thank you for watching.